Uh, Godzilla, here's something most people won't know, except those of us who were there. Uh, we had collected, like, almost all the skyscraper buildings from the various films that had already been done because they kind of need them now and they want to spend money building them. And so we got the ones from uh, Fifth Element and I think Batman. We had buildings from that. But we had about 20 skyscrapers. And some of these were 20 feet tall. I mean, they were, they were, they were big. I think they're all in 10th scale, something like that. Anyway, with these, we had, um, like model makers, we put jokes in them. Yes, R2 was there too. I had a bigger one on that one. Here was the funny part, is that in the windows, we had to make like little shadow boxes with just sort of shapes so that it looked like there was something in the room, but there was really nothing to focus on. It was just a, a shape. In fact, for that, I did, an off, I did all the mold work and the castings. I did lots of castings and some of the paint, but Gene kept us busy. Gene was already, and he kept us busy. And uh, it was a good job, eight, eight months. It was a good run. Uh, we had Jumper Joe. We had gotten um, an EMA figure of, a, of, of like a businessman staying the hands on his hips. And this was Jumper Joe, <laughs> who would be jumping off the buildings. <laughs> so this figure ended up in every shot in that movie, Jumper Joe is on a building somewhere. We got this down so well that the camera crew, you know, they would do their last take. We got the film, we're set with lights right, everybody's checked, everything's ready to go. Where's Jumper Joe? Okay, we, we can shoot. Even they wouldn't shoot without him in the scene somewhere. I, I don't know what happened to Jumper Joe. But surely somebody took him home. I kind of wish I had him. But that, that was fun. Uh, so, yeah, he's, he's there. Uh, see, Batman is in one of these windows. Somebody did a little Batman figure. Well, on Godzilla, at that time, um, they had a lot of work. That, they were shooting their stuff over, I believe they were at, uh, at the Howard Hughes place. And I was running the model shop for Warner Brothers at Warner Digital. We had that facility for two years. And they came over and we did some stuff for them. We did uh, Madison Square Garden blowing up. We did all the scene of interior of Madison Square Garden with all the eggs in all the chairs and everything, the wide and the, uh, the close-up version of that. That's pretty much all I can remember that we did. We, you know, it was pieced out all over town. Someone else did the, uh, the bridge in New York and then uh, all the, all the uh, monster was done at another facility that was put together. We just took the model over to um, the Hughes facility and put it together, and then we had nothing to do with it. And then they blew it up. We only built one then, yeah. That was one time. You know, Godzilla w had a lot of new challenges in it. Um, digital monster with a mi miniature set, and then sometimes a physical monster in a miniature set. We used we reused a lot of buildings from other films. It was it was really a, a fun thing. I mean, the only disappointment for me was is that Godzilla didn't look like Godzilla. You know, um, when they when they showed him off, I just went like, "Well, who's that?" And they went, "Well, that's Godzilla of the '90s." I'm going like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> Godzilla is what has inspired me to be in the movie industry, you know, or to build miniatures and stuff when I was a little kid. I used to remember seeing, you know, sitting in my, on my parents' bed, watching a tiny little black and white TV set, and watching Godzilla and Mothra and Rodan destroy things, and and I said, "Ma, that's kind of fun," you know, and and uh, you know, between them and and uh, and and seeing the Walt Disney Imagineers, you know, building things, all those kind of things fascinated me. I never thought I would have a career doing that same kind of work, but it was always back in you know in the back of your mind you know of like wow that would be so cool to do something like that